Thomas Marsh. Okay, when I made that video on the uh, Matt uh, Friday from uh, Rogue, uh, I bought those uh, calibrated plates from Rogue um, in a new bar. I explained to you the reason why I, I got those is so I could uh, work out uh, exactly the way that I'm going to be lifting at the meet and using the same equipment at the, that I'd be using at the meet. Well, here I'll, I'll show you. Uh, what actually uh, I do with uh, the setup here. All right, so as you see here, that first uh, bar, this one of those uh, you know big box uh, store uh, bars. And it's got uh, 35 pound plates, so that's 115 pounds. So I use that as a warm up. Then I move up to 135 pounds right here, and it's another. Um, big box store bar so then after that then I have this bar here is the uh, rogue uh, power bar uh, with the calibrated plate so I'll be warming up with exactly uh, the way it is at the at the meet so uh, then I have the calibrated plates here so I could raise it up until I get to the point where uh, I um, We'll have to put the 20, pound, 20 kilo uh, plates on. The 20 kilo plates is the same size as the uh, 25 uh, kilo plates. So uh, you have to use the, uh, the uh, some kind of a lifting thing to uh, put the uh, plate on. So then after I warm up over here, then I go back to my to my platform. And then now I already have the uh, bar set up and ready for my next warm up. And then I just add plates on there, the kilo plates on there, till I get to my uh, working uh, set. Now the reason for this is I don't have to keep taking plates off and, and put plates on. I set this up the night before, and in order to get those uh, twenty pounds, uh, I keep calling them pounds because I'm not used to this metric stuff yet. Uh, I gotta use this uh, rogue bar here um, jack to jack up the uh, the bar to, in order to slide the, uh, he uh, the uh, 20 kilo plates on there because like I said they're the same size as the 25 kilos. So I just wanted to show you guys what I, I do here. That way it saves me a lot of energy because at the meet we don't have to load the, the bar up be before we uh, do our lifts so you know we're all nice and rested here if I ha I keep on uh, having to take these plates on put them on take them off put them on I'm I'm wasting a lot of energy and by the time I get to I want to do my one rep max I'm, I'm, I'm pooped up pooped out already so all right so let's get on with the uh, Russian um, squat program okay so today is the uh, last uh, squat day uh, before the meet 
This will be the uh, end of the uh, meat prep for squats. Um, I'm not going to even get near uh, the weight I wanted to use uh, for my uh, last uh, lift at the meet. Um, I thought this uh, Russian program would help uh, me build it up to that point, but um, staying at lightweight 180 pounds for three weeks was too long uh, for me because it took away uh, three weeks uh, from being using uh, the heavier weight. Um, so what I got here now is I got uh, 214 point, uh, I think it's uh, 50 pounds. Um, kilo is 97.50. Uh, these are calibrated, calibrated plates, so uh, can't do it even like we do with the uh, pound plates. So what I'm going to do here is um, I did my warm up and uh, I did my opener, which is a grinder, but uh, I did it. So at the meet, I'm probably going to do the exact same thing. I can grind it out. And uh, I'll be uh, higher than I was last year, so I'll, I'll set a new record uh, for the Illinois American record on the squat. And if I can do this weight, because this will be my next weight up, that I wanted to do, um, then I'm going to even have a better outcome as far as uh, beating my records from uh, last year. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to squat it, and uh, I'm going to squat down, and if I can't come up, I'm just going to, you know, drop down to the uh, pins. Um, if I can uh, feel like I can uh, push it back up, I will. So, like I said, uh, at meat day is all different. Your adrenaline is up. Um, you got your carbs up and everything. And another thing here is too is that uh, six weeks ago I was four pounds heavier. So I'm, today I'm four pounds lighter than I was six weeks ago, which makes a big difference too when it comes to uh, lifting your uh, max weights. So, all right, so let's try to do this and uh, see if uh, how it feels going down. Alright, there was no coming back up, but at least I felt uh, going down, so uh, that's going to be it here uh, for the squats, and I tried, but uh, if I'm stronger Saturday and I can do this uh, just because of the circumstances of being in a meet, I might be able to do it. But um, that's it for this year as far as squats. All right, so to round out my last uh, squat uh, day before the meet, I'm going to do uh, walkouts here. And this is the last set of, uh, I got 300 pounds here. So just to have the weight on my back. So then when I do the actual squat uh, on meet day, I've already had, you know, heavy weight on my back uh, because um, I haven't handled any heavy weight uh, since uh, about uh, six weeks now. So, um, and with the walkout here, 
I actually do walk out. I just don't get out of the bar and just stand up with it. I walk out as if I was going to do the squat. I do my stance, the whole thing, and then I stand there for 10 seconds. So uh, let's do it. All right, so that's last squat day for 2019 meat prep. If you like the video, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe.